I think it's an honor to be able to host interns. Our field is very much like an old-fashioned craft in a way, and the idea of apprenticeship or inter internships are instrumental to the craft. It is most interesting and delightful looking up materials here. Well, yep, I'm about so Arabeth, here, yeah. we asked there. her to help us it's with coming. a project, which is a, is a new thing for us. And she's describing each item so that researchers will be able to determine whether this item is appropriate for their research. But at the same time, we're adding information that will be used for a digital access system. It's not about dictating to the intern, it's about having an ongoing conversation and everybody learning from each other. My internship is comprised of looking at a heretofore ignored aspect of the history of the Shirley Eustace House. Between 1870 roughly and 1950, a group of tenants and residents lived in the house. I'm wondering, you know, is, is, this, um, is this a room for rent? We have a small shelf that has uh, pieces of food uh, boxes, ego seas, uh, the fish cakes that people would have eaten over that time period. And then we did the background research on who's the company, what does the food represent for the uh, folks who are eating it, can we ascertain anything about their class, their status, their occupations. I processed four collections. All the collections are Boston related. The first two collections that I processed were manuscript collections. Um, one was the William E. White collection, which was a um, the business papers of a man who built all these three-decker homes in Boston. The second one was the Joseph Robertson collection. Um, it was a correspondence between him and his wife. He was a Civil War soldier stationed in South Carolina. And the last collection that I'm working on right now is the North End Union collection, which is the papers and files and records from the North End Union, which was a settlement house in the North End. At the National Park Service, I began an internship in the fall of 2012 and the project was looking at transcribing the diaries of Frederick Cobb Russell. Uh, Frederick Cobb Russell served in the United States Navy from 1862 to 1865. Uh, as he served in the Navy, he served as an assistant engineer working in the engine room, working with the boilers and the engines on three different Navy vessels. And the best part about it, he transcribed his experiences the entire time. The goal of this project is to is to ultimately present these as part of a, a museum exhibit uh, that will be produced uh, to time, uh, in time with the, um, the Civil War sesquicentennial that we're celebrating, the 150th anniversary of, of that war. The other thing that, that it, uh, it provides us with is, is what's called a document surrogate, which allows the, the original to get preserved better because it's handled less when uh, the transcription is used. I would encourage anyone who's interested in interpretation, museum studies, archives, to come on over to UMass and look at our program. You know, you're in the city, you have experience, once in a lifetime experiences. What I like about the UMass Boston program is that the students are working with historical approaches. They're getting traditional historical research background. And I think that really is helpful for archivists who will be able to put things into perspective. They'll understand the context of materials when they're working with them because they're, they're coming through a traditional historical master's program.